Here's Papa. Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel here, and today we're out in uh, Wyoming here at on vacation. I thought I'd bring out my old 22 that I've got sitting in the safe. Now this was my grandfather's gun. Uh, he purchased it back in right around 1955, and what we've got here is a Sears J.C. Higgins uh, model 103.229. Uh, you're wondering 103 point that's kind of an odd designation for a rifle but basically it is a marlin 81. Um, these were made by marlin and then uh, private label to sears um, jc penny's wards um, i think western auto had had some um, it was very common for uh, marlin to uh, rebrand their rifles and typically when they did that they didn't put the marlin name on it simply because they were trying to make them to a price point um, the guts, um, the barrel, and everything is a Marlin. They are great little shooters, and if you happen to find one um, that's been in a collection for a while, they usually really do shoot very well. Um, they're not very expensive. You can typically pick them up from anywhere from 100, maybe 200, if you get a really prime example in a box and everything. Um, you know, they're not worth a lot, but you don't see them on the market very often, simply because they, these are family heirlooms. They're kind of handed down. Like I said, my grandpa bought this in 1955. It's been in the family since. I've had four generations of family that have shot this gun. I am third generation. Um, I've got just a real cheap little Tasco scope on here. Um, these only had like the 3 8 mounting points. Um, but, you know, it works for uh, the cartridge and it works for the gun. It typically shoots very well. Now, what did they do to kind of cheapen these or make them a little bit less expensive? So they can sell them at uh, Sears and JC Penney's and uh, sell them at a little lower price point than you find the Marlins. Most of the Marlins would be in a much better, like more of a walnut stock. Um, this is probably a beach stock, I believe. Um, relatively inexpensive, but if you notice here, I'll pull it over here. You know, we've got a nice knot in the stock here. Nothing that's going to affect the performance of the rifle. But aesthetically, it's not going to be as nice as, say, a Marlin uh, rifle. They would not have left you put stocks out there with Marlin's name on it um, with the knots in it. Um, the other thing you'll find um, with the J.C. Higgins is that you may find more of a plastic buttstock on it. And the Marlin would have a, a rubber buttstock. Um, you know, this one's uh, pretty nice. It may have been changed out at one point, but the buttstocks would be different on them and that's just ways that they were able to uh, lower the price point you get a plastic uh, trigger guard here instead of maybe a steel trigger guard so you know little things like that in order to make the rifle cheaper but not affect uh, the performance of the rifle so if you can find one of these uh, you're looking for like a little bolt action tube fed uh, 22 these are really nice the nice thing is also that it's 22 short 22 long and 22 long rifle so You've got some options there. I mean, you can shoot uh, pretty quietly with some shorts and you know some subsonic shorts, or you can go up to you know like these mini mags here that I'm going to shoot today. Uh, but we're got a target set up about 70 yards down range here. We're going to go ahead and try out, and uh, just thought you know I'd bring this out. Um, we're going on. Uh, we have been going out on prairie dog hunts and uh, picket pin hunts out here in the mountains, and uh, it's been a really fun trip. And we, you know, we brought this along. You know, my first critter I ever shot, I believe, was out with this gun. So let's go ahead and put a few on paper here. Um, we've got a 17-round magazine here, so we'll go ahead and put 17 rounds in it. All right, this is a tube-fed rifle, so you, you basically undo your tube, pull your inner tube out, and load load up some ammunition. And we're running 22 long rifle in this. Like I said, these are mini mags. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a few shots here.
they've got a really sweet trigger on them i um, really like the trigger it's it's not very um not very it's fairly light um pretty crisp a really nice trigger on it um you know i've got to recite my scope here but you know it was laying them in there decently and you know, from what i can see let's go down we'll take a look at the target and uh, we'll come back well there you go we need to do a little bit of scope adjustment on this but uh you know, for shooting at rabbit and squirrel and uh, groundhogs and prairie dogs and, and stuff like that, you know, some small game, um, it's it's more than capable uh, of getting the job done. I mean, we, we have quite a few here. I'm kind of stringing along a little bit here. Some flyers, but, you know, a little bit of adjustment on that scope, and I think uh, we can get a lot better group out of it. Well, there you go. My Sears J.C. Higgins Marlin 22 bolt-action rifle. Um, maybe get a little better scope for it. This scope needs to be adjusted a little bit, although when you get up in the altitudes like this, it kind of sometimes your point of aim shifts. Um, I was also using a little bit different ammo uh, last time I was shooting. I know it shoots a little bit better than what it was doing today, um, but not too bad. Um, it would get the job done. It would bring the critters home so that uh, you can have real rabbit stew or whatever. But you know, this is thought I'd bring this out. Um, it's something that's sitting in my safe. It's something that's been in the family for a long time. And, uh, you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy taking it out to shoot it. Um, just reminds me of my first hunt. Reminds me of my grandfather. Um, something that uh, will probably be passed on uh, through the generations for, for quite some time. That's one of the reasons these guns can sometimes, even though they're not very expensive, they can be a little hard to find sometimes or a good quality one. You know, sometimes they're pretty beat up. This is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel, and I am out. So you want extras in your video. All right. Yes, I know. You go in? Hmm? Go now. Please subscribe!